Hey everybody, I'm Bloom here. Welcome back to my channel for some more Hogwarts Legacy. And uh, right now I am just outside of Hogwarts and uh, we're about to start another main quest. What it looks like uh, is gonna be a flying lesson. So yeah, I cannot wait. Let's dive right in. Hopefully we get to learn how to fly today and uh, we can just fly around. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Oh boy, yeah, there we go. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Damn, imagine how this wooden broom would fill in your balls, goddamn. This was my first thought. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Um, alright. Good. Now, Hopefully, uh, let's try not to butcher lesson, this completely. Fly through each ring in the courtyard. <sighs> this Do will take some take getting care. used to. The brooms are school Wish property. I, had my own broom. I want them returned in one piece. Okay, that was easy enough, I guess. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Nice day for a flight! Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant! Can we have some broom uh, races or something, I guess? Ah, uh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. We actually go faster? I think we can go faster. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance. Oh, there's the Kraken! <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Damn, I'm a pro at this. Look at this. It's so easy. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Of course, but give I'm me the challenge. Myself. We haven't probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Yes. <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. All right, you handsome devil. Which Where are we going? About to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Hmm. 
Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. So, speed burst? Oh, uh, there we now go. Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. All right, I guess we get to head back to the teacher now. But yeah, I definitely got the hang of the broom. It's pretty easy to handle. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. Wow, what a bitch. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Still a bitch. I just wanted to get Sorry some more broom practice and what's the big deal? But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Definitely. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right, I guess I know our next destination then. Quest completed. All right, and we got another challenge. So that means more EXP for me. And uh, we should probably head over to Hogsmeade and try and purchase a cool ass broom, I guess. Hmm, maybe I should. All right, since there are no new quests popping up. Oh, just as I said it, never mind. What do we got here? Map. The Room of Requirement, Conjuring Spell, Evanesco, Conjuration Spellcraft, Configuro, Depulsal. Um, okay, we're getting a lot of... Getting a lot of stuff here, alright. Yeah. What is this? Gold? I, I need to do a couple of these quests. Maybe we should start with these today and uh, continue with the main ones. But I actually want to go to Hogsmeade over now, uh, over, because I have a bunch of stuff that I want to sell. And after we sell the shit, what is this conjuration spellcraft? Uh, after we sell this, we can um, hopefully buy a new broom or something. Domes and scroll, hog's head, wizard wear, dress emporium, J. Pippin's potions. I really don't see where we can actually buy a new broom here. Food and pack, supply shop, stock with the latest, great beast, buy products. Alright, let's go over there, I guess. But right now. I need to sell my useless things. I actually managed to get uh, inventory upgrade from the challenges we completed, but 
It's whatever. I don't think it's a large upgrade, so we definitely need to keep upgrading our inventory and uh, also we need to sell the useless stuff. Incendio. Okay, wrong Revelio. one. Uh, Revelio, you know what? Lumos. Wrong one. Alright, there we go. Lumos. Revelio. So we need to find a big ash tree stump and a ruined stone wall. Hmm. Oh, I see it. Alright, there it is. Wow, that was easy. Lumos. Come on, Lumos. That I need to get used to. I kinda kinda set my new spell uh spell sets over here and I, I need some time to get used to it. There we go. Alright, where are the shops now? Should go in here. Oh wait, was that Shaco? Never mind. So, can we actually buy or sell anything here? Yo, what the hell's happening in this store? Everything's alive. Amazing. Just lovely. Bewitching can of mystery. Don't push. Of course we're gonna push it. Rebellion. Oh my god, there's actually more stuff in here. What? Oh, there's another scroll. There it is. Alright, buddy, can we, can we actually trade with you? Can we do something? Now we cannot even talk to him, that's sad. Alright, whatever, let's find a store where we can actually trade in. Because I want to sell my shit. And uh, then we can continue on with the quests. Revelio. Can we go here? Clockwork Fedora! Oh my god, I ain't wearing no Fedora, alright? Anyway, so I guess that my next destination is over here. But this is the bar. I'm pretty sure I cannot trade into the bar. So let's get back out there. And go inside of a shop or something. Oh! Is there anything else in here? Huge sack with money, hopefully. 39 gold, not bad. There's a chest here. 93 gold, damn. That was a huge pickup. Revelio. Oh my god, there's more floors here. What the hell? Such a big ass place. Oh, there's a lock on the door. All right, we still don't have the unlock door spell or whatever it is so we cannot do anything here for now at least and uh all right where is the other shop that i can go and trade in maybe here there we go sporting needs what Colorful scarf. Let's check it out. It's better than mine. What? So this is 23. This is 28. Let's grab this. Looks kind of better. Anyway. All right. Time to sell some shit. Hopefully. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare U-weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. 
No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sweet. I like to trade. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. There we go. First we sell, then we buy broom. Nice doing business with you. Would be nice if I can actually sell in bulk, but I don't think that I can. But at least we're gonna make some bank over here. Look at me, I'm already a 6k, not bad. How can I, I identify this, by the way? Ah, right, there we go. 600? They are all 600. Wow, alright, so... Hogwarts House Broom, Ember Dash, Moon, Wind Wisp... Yell Weaver. I think I'm actually gonna go for the Moon Trimmer. Ember Dash. I think I like this one, to be honest. Wind Wisp. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go of course. On. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As and happens, that would be me. Another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Of course, let's go. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Of course she will. Once you've beaten we... Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. All right, Imelda. Uh, Hogsmeade in a certain order is prohibited flying. Look for no flying icon. That means on the minimap, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we cannot fly in Hogsmeade then. All right, got it. Uh, where's our next destination? World map. So I can... Go over here, probably fly over, I guess. Get some more broom practice in before we actually start these time trials. But let's try it out. Hopefully it will be fun. Handy resource indeed. Your All right, so Q. I'm most pleased to be in Q. How, how do I start flying here? Ugh. Speak with the motorized in the Quidditch pitch. Um, How do I fly? With three. All right, I guess that this is how we fly. I'm not really sure if there's a quick button on the broom. But anyway, there we go. We this fun. How do we stop though? Alright, she's in a Quidditch pitch. If I remember correctly, B to dismount. If it isn't but doesn't B mount. Damn. Alright, whatever. Let's go, let's do this. Talk to her, I guess. Hello, Imelda. Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Yep. Seems someone's jealous of my skills. Let's on make her mad. Me? 
Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Now let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Imagine if I fail miserably now. <laughs> All right, there we go. Did it. Excellent. Oh my God, this is actually harder than I thought. I gotta be better than this. Oh. Made it. <laughs> now that's more like it. Oh my god, there's actually 22 rings in total. What? This is rather fun. <laughs> now that's more like it. You know what? I think that I can actually beat her time. Oh shit, I almost failed. Right, last one, let's go. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Sweet. 137. I think we actually did a lot better than her. She should be pretty mad right now. Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated, you. Uh, fine. You won. You mad Don't bitch? Think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want your respect. I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium, where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Sweet, alright, I think we can go back to Albie's now. I'll return to the podium challenge, blah blah blah. Alright, back to Albie. To get our broom upgrades. Hogsmeade, here I come. Alright, I'll be I'm done with the challenge. We aced it. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Wheats, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. 
Expect to hear from me soon. All right, I guess we gotta How to address the issue of wait for him to, to do the actual upgrade right now, and maybe he'll just give me an owl post or something. But hey, quest completed. All right, so uh, there was another quest here in Hogsmeade. Follow the butterflies. All right, track this. I think I need this conjuration table, by the way. So this should be pretty important. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. Is Clementine a crackhead or something? She wants me to follow butterflies in the forest. Oh my god. Very well. If I have time. Alright, the things I do for oh, a conjuration table. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Find the butterflies in the Forbidden Forest. Alright, where are we going? World map? Take me straight to the Forbidden Forest. I want that conjuration table. And I want to learn how to be able to... Identify my unknown items. That would be pretty sweet. He wasn't making it up. All right, there's butterflies here. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsy might get an answer about these butterflies. Revelio. You know what? I'm gonna pick up some leeches until the butterflies just run around and do s silly stuff. There you go, give me some more leech. See moonstone over there. Oh, and a spider cave. Might actually go and explore this later. Miss Willardsy will never believe where the butterflies led me. Revelio. Well, well. Look what we have here. All right, re re return to Miss Wildersley, but first... Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Incendio. Damn, the new spell upgrades are vicious. What? Eight legs is simply too many. Revelio. That might freaking demolish these guys. Revelio. All right. Is there anything else here? Moonstone. Do I actually complete this or what? Maybe if I burn this it's big web. <laughs> Alright, I guess there's nothing else left to burn here. There we go. I feel like he got everything from here. At least I don't seem to be 
spotting anything else? I guess we're good. Maybe we should return to Miss uh, Wildersley. Let me just check if there's something else nearby. We haven't explored a lot of this Forbidden Forest thing yet. There's Leech here. And uh, yeah, there's a sack of money, apparently. Skipping stones. We can dive there. All right, what do we got? Silver half rim specs. It seems better days. Yeah, that's trash. Let me get the sack. There's We're bound to be go. money inside, right? Yeah, fifty-three gold. Not bad. A bunch of leeches here. Is that flowers? Why would black ones be heavy? Yeah, those are some kind of flowers. Dude, stop skipping stones. Pick up the leeches. Come on. Dude. Collect leech. Oh, we got flies. Alright, whatever. Um, hogs meat it is then. That was pretty easy. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Oh, please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterfly. Hello, Miss Willardsy. Well, what happened? Did you find them? They led me into the forest and revealed the treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. <sighs> Perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Alright, so what do we got? Collection, blah blah blah. What? So that was I don't think I got what I needed from this quest. Hello? Oh my god. Alright, so appearance reward, appearance reward, gold. The demanding delivery. Alright, we're gonna do this one because it gives gold and I'm really struggling for gold right now. Where is it? Oh, it's pretty close by. Revelio. Is that? Oh, give me that scroll. There we go. That's better. Oh my god, there's so many things here that I'm missing. Hello, are we at the right spot? In the market. You know what, let me try and buy today? something from him. Recipe for a potion that reduces the drinker's spell cooldowns. Damage potion. Hmm, alright. Sell this shit. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. I don't think I actually need any potions from him right now. I hope to see you again. So You're let's talk now. about that quest. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery. Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatimella Wang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. 
You have no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Alright, so deliver free invisibility potions to Fatima Lowang. So he, he actually gave me four, so that means... What? Why is she so far away? Holy crap. World map. Let's see. Where the hell is she located? Oh, boy. All right. So we're going here and we're flying, I guess. There's no other way around it. I actually thought she was somewhere around Hogsmeade or maybe she would have been in Hogwarts at least. Right out of the storybook. All right, the broom is super handy though. Might actually try something when I get closer there. I want to see what happens if I dismount me there. What would actually let me dismount in me there? There's a merchant here. Imagine there's not a single flu flame in sight. Alright, there we go. That's her place. Alright, let's see what happens if I just press this. Oh! I can just park it up like that. Um, what the Revenge. hell? Seriously, no flu flame here? Oh crap, I fell down. Unidentified neck item? Great, more un unidentified items. How am I supposed to identify them? Is there an identification table or something? Uh, there was one more chest somewhere around here. There it is. Golden snitch scarf. Oh, there we go. There's the flu flame. Now I can finally teleport. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. So, what exactly am I supposed to do here? I need to find four pedestals or what? Leviosa. Incendio. Okay, I have absolutely zero clue on what I'm supposed to do here. For these Merlin challenges. They're so strange. Anyway, there's a chest here. Let's grab it. Did I even start this challenge? Alright, we can drink here for free. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm able to see a freaking Brazier or whatever. So I, I'm not really sure if we're supposed to light braziers here. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. It's not like we, we get a hint on what are we supposed to do. That's so strange. 
Always late that Pippin. Revelio. What the hell is this? Oh, oh, I get it. All right. You know what? Can we push this? Maybe also doesn't work on this. Wow, this thing doesn't budge at all. Can I can I move this thing, please? Somehow. Always late that Pippin. Revelio. Lumos. Repair. Yeah, I cannot do anything to this thing. Incendio. Spelliarmus. Yeah, it doesn't budge. Come on. Alright, I, I think I know what I need to do. I just need to figure out how to do it exactly. Whatever. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Yeah, of course. All right, let's do this. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Drink an invisibility potion. Eaters, invisibility. Or right, how am I supposed to drink this? Oh, tab. Oh. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well. I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. <sighs> Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Might as well check her stuff out. Yeah, she has only trash. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Revelio. I'm sure you do. All right, what is this? The tilted house. There's a sack here somewhere. Wonder who lives here. I don't know who lives here, but I want the sack. Is the sack in here? Oh, Wigan Well Potion. Rebellion. All right, we gotta go back to Mr. Pimpin. But I also want to try and move this rock somehow. Oh, look at this. There's so many thing in this, things in this town. Another locked house. Damn, I want to explore so bad and the game doesn't let me. Alright, another wand handle. Apparently I cannot roll this or move it in any other way. No, Levioso doesn't work. 
You know what? What if I try my talents? Can we actually upgrade? Let's see. Spells. Already upgraded this one. So what am I supposed to do? So here. Maybe we need to use another spell on this one. We have one talent point available. What about the core spells? Hmm. All right, I'm not going to spend my uh, one remaining point for now. But we definitely need another spell in order to actually get this rock moving. It doesn't even budge, come on. I activated this one, but yeah. I definitely need to bring this rock here. I I'm sure of it. Anyway, so, oh. Would you look at that? Reveal this. And by the way, there's a cave there. You know what? We might go explore the cave first. I, I love exploring. Come on. It's so satisfying to explore new areas. Revelio. There we go. Alright, what is this place? And what the hell is this frog? How can it? What? Is it gonna attack me? Wow, this stupid frog doesn't even budge. What? Just standing there waiting to get killed, seriously? Wow, combo 32. Alright, fuck you, frog. I don't care. As long as we get to dive and get the treasure. Let's see where this takes me. Rebellion. All right, where the hell am I? <laughs> How can we move this thing? Maybe if I try repair all? Nope. Revelio. Lumos. What about Lumos? Revelio. Nope. Nothing's working. Expelliarmus. Incendio. Levioso. Accio. Yeah, not a single one of my spells works here. Oh, okay. Never mind. Rebellion. What? Is that a chocolate frog? Highland scarf. Uh, is there any other treasures here? You know what? I think I actually got everything. Sad part is that we didn't get a whole lot from here. It doesn't seem like there's anything else. Alright, can I actually fast travel from this location? To Hogsmeade directly? Hopefully we can. There we go. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. What is this? What do you gold? 
We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Kingbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? You should keep it. She doesn't deserve to have it. I appreciate what you're saying, but you have much to learn about respecting the property of others. Some things are sacred amongst potioners. I shall return it to her immediately. Wow, well, all right, this dude's an a-hole. Anyway, we got business. So we made more money than we should have. And oh my God, 500 gold, not bad at all. All right, what's my next destination here? Let's see, quests. We, we can do one more today. Professor Sharp's assignment. Let's go for this one. We're going to learn the puzzle. Acquire and use a focus potion. Maximum endurance potion. Use them simultaneously. What? Maxima and endurance potions. And use them simultaneously. Acquire and use a focus potion. All right, so do I have uh, some of these... We have uh, Edoras Potion, but we have the rest Maxima we don't have, and we don't have Focus Potion. We can just buy them. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. All right, let's see. Does he have them? Focus Potion. Maxima. All right, he has them. Purchase one of these, oh, purchase one of these. Thank you. I hope to see you again. All right, I just spent 1k on potions, god damn it. Alright, acquire and use focus potion, maxima and edurus potion. Focus potion. So where is it? Maximus focus potion. There we go. Tap to use the focus potion. Maxima potion. And Edurus. Excellent. Alright, I used the rock heart potion. It's time to run back to Mrs. Garlic and uh, show her, her how hard I am. So, attend potions class during the day. Is that it? Yeah, there we go. Potions class. Let's go. I drank all of the potions. Off on another adventure, are we? Is it up or is it down? Can I jump the railing? God damn it, no, I cannot jump the railing and break my legs. Kinda sad. That's the last time I have a potion idea. Damn, I took the wrong teleport. You can advance time by accessing the map and pressing F. Alright, map. F. Yes. Dude, get up. Come on. How are your assignments coming along? 
I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. All right then, what does the pulso do? You've got it now. And I think you should. Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. So, yeah, enchanted books. All right, the pulso. How do we do this? Maybe if I just... Is that the pulso force? Oh my god, maybe we can, we can use this on the rock. You know what, these are going here. Incendio. Oops, wrong one. Oh my god, I accidentally burned the book. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Sweet. Oh, are we done here? You know what, I think we can use this for the rock. Maybe we can try this, all right, world map. Let's see if it actually works. Hogwarts Valley. Yeah, there's. this is where the Merlin trial is. I want to try this. See if we can actually move this rock down to the Merlin trial area. I'm pretty sure this is what we're supposed to do in order to complete this Merlin trial. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. All right, let's try and depulse all the shit out of this rock. Depulse. There we go. Let's try not to smash the kids. All right. I wish I paid more attention. Oh, well, can can I get it up there? Alright, so what now? Can I get it out of the way so I can start the modeling trial or... Okay, what the hell? Why the hell am I not uh, able to use the Merlin trial thing? Is it because I'm out of leaves or something? But yeah, at least we figured out how to move the rock. Oh shit, oh my god, this rock's gone. And it reset. God damn it. All right, whatever. I'm going to have to go back and uh, probably buy some more mellows for sweet leaves. And then we can probably try this Merlin challenge again. But yeah, pretty good episode today. We complete a bunch of side quests and now we can finally continue with our main quest. But this is going to be for next episode because this one's getting like an hour long already. So I guess I'll see you guys with a brand new episode soon and I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you want to see what happens next, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on and you can support the series by leaving a like and a comment. All right. Thanks for watching. And as I said, I'll see you guys soon. Peace.